Welcome, 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 welcome. Raw love, Virgos. Okay. I'm going in a particular order today. I don't, I don't really know why they do that, but I'm doing it. Okay. Um, happy New Year's, everybody. Happy New Year's. I, I bet you celebrated hard. <laughs> I can feel it. For some of you, you're tired. You're tired. It's all good. You're a little anxious. It's all good. All right. We're going to get through that too. So let's, let's start off. I want to tell you colors are big. Okay. So we got um, a yellowish greenish. Okay. Browns and cream colors for you. Um, anything um, that cream I think is going to be very calming for you. In the next couple weeks, okay. Um, I'm a little all over the place, but you guys is reading today. I'm not sure why, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. I'm pulling Ganesha cards for overall messages and one at the end, okay. Angel message, kind of gonna get you um, a little different insight. I'm doing things a little differently at the end of the read. I will go into um my very first raw love that I've uploaded okay and kind of see what kind of turnaround what you've gone through we're gonna go through like what you your lessons that you went through in 2018 your current lesson um, I'm gonna strip down zodiacs I'm going to do things a little different okay um, hold on All right, Whew, these things are on fire today. Virgos, Virgos, first, first half of January. All right, capability to love. All right, so we're having a hard time getting on our path. All right, with somebody we love, and I don't know if you don't feel like you're capable of doing it. Um, but this is all about going. And being guided okay um, I will tell you too I am using um, my I don't know Apple okay Apple laptop um, so it, it's new I'm sure the the color I'm sure everything is awesome okay um, YouTube finally did an upgrade so it, it's now more compatible with certain devices so there's that so, this honestly is about getting on your your lesson. Your it that is a lesson for you, love. Um. So see what's going on, with my Virgos. I'm gonna draw six cards and then I'm gonna clarify if need be. Okay. Don't forget, I really feel like um, I really feel like cream colors are your thing. Anything creamy, very um, calming. Again, but you're that yellowish greenish, um, which is ironic because that's yellowish greenish. Okay, it could be very calming for you too, or, or this color cream. Okay, um, very um, light. Okay, so this is one of my favorite stones. It's it's very calming. It's very peaceful. And I'm being drawn to it for you. Okay, I kind of don't want to hide it. I kind of don't want to hide it on you. I, I think it's it's calming for you. Okay. Um, see if I can get that in the thing for you too. I'll make a switchy with the candle. Oh, my roses is bad though. I gotta move these now. You know, guys, go to work. Work, work, work. Alright. I told you, I, I'm literally all over the place. You guys are just going to have to deal because wherever I'm going with this, I'm, I'm going. It's very bizarre. So, you know me. If I was to stop and restart, it would be just as chaotic. Alright, so, we're going to flow just like the way your cards are right now, too. I'm feeling magic. What's going on, my Virgos? My Virgos, my Virgos. 
All right, five of cups. We're looking back. Okay, we feel. I don't want to use the word defeated. Okay. Um. Nice shift. I don't know. I feel like you feel like you stabbed somebody in the back. There's some guilt coming into play here. This is woe. This is, this is woe. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're focused on the past. Um, Feeling stabbed in the back, not being able to move forward with somebody you want to move forward with. This is the this devil to me right here is more self sabotage next to the seven. Whatever this is could be very toxic too. Um, with a parent, I'm feeling kind of a parent situation right now, um, but it could be a kid's parent too, or it's just somebody. This empress, you know, a business owner. Um, I, I feel like this is the problem. I don't feel like this is a bad problem, though, guys. I don't. I feel like you're trying to figure out how to how to have a new start, how to kickstart something, how to get through the past, how to let go of these feelings. Um, I don't feel like... I mean, yeah, but this empress kind of, I feel like, makes you happy, if that makes sense. You know, I feel like overall it's a, it's a difficult situation, but I think it's because how to, like, being able to love is a challenge without letting the past get the best of you. Because this is... This is you. This is what I feel like you want to go towards, or this is the Empress thinking all this. Do I take this new? Do I take this new chance? Do I? You know, like I feel like some of you most definitely are dealing with the Scorp. I just see the blue. That this blue. I don't know if it's that's a Taurus, but like I'm looking at that blue. And that green sticking out too. <sighs> to me, it's just thoughts. It's your thoughts about how to approach this, where you're gonna go, that type of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. um, so before I even clarify, let me do the other thing I was doing real quick. They have me doing all sorts of math these days and, and, and not just breaking it down numerology. It's it's crazy, but hold on. Okay. So what's happening is you were searching with stability for somebody for a long time, and that's it, it's been a little chaotic, chaotic when it comes to that. Um, I do feel stability coming in. I think it has to do with this love, but what comes first before stability is getting on your path, and you're having trouble getting on your path, okay? Um, because of what happens now if I was to do it this way you've been waiting all right you've been waiting on this stability you've been waiting on this solid love whatever this is you've been waiting um, but I will tell you and until you get on your path and start going is it's gonna be a little difficult for you okay um, so that needs to be worked on okay overall message is the definitely the love um, I did Leo first, okay, it has me going in order like I was saying, but they had a seven, not this particular one, but in the same exact spot, theirs was more like, um, 
taking a, a leap of faith. I forgot to write that down. Um, hold on, sorry. I'm so sorry to interrupt. Because I'm on this new laptop and I, I haven't figured out how to upload it yet. Because the first time I've, I've really worked with it, I purchased it a couple months ago and I, I gave up on it. Because I don't do Apple. I'm sure it's probably real simple for you guys, but not for court. Okay, not for court. So, to me this is, you don't want to sabotage something. Say you're in a relationship already. You're still letting the past get the best of you. To me, I feel like this is just getting on your path, whether you're with somebody or not. All right? This does boil down to love, not feeling capable of pulling it off. But you are more than capable of pulling this off. Um, tell me about this Five of Cups. I don't really feel like it's a pity party. I just kind of feel like you're just focused on this whole devastation. All right. So this is a message. So, I mean, again, it's love. It's coming at you or you need to go towards somebody. Okay. Um, this somebody needs to express. And again, it's the seven. It's just it's that moving forward. Tell me about the seven of swords. So to me, this is a chance somebody might sabotage something more than deception. I mean, obviously, it looks like there could be deception here. I'm trying to get the bigger picture for you guys. I'm not like, oh, you're dealing with this. No shit. Okay, obviously. Let's solve this, though. All right. Well, with somebody reaching out, texting, you know, would be a good way to solve this problem. Um, so if you need to reach out, I, I suggest you do. Whoever might sabotage the situation should definitely speak up. If you're not talking, reach out. If you're in a relationship, if you know you're the one, if you're this one, and especially you got strong cappy in your chart, it, it looks like the struggle is with the divine feminine getting to the feminine, okay? Um, I don't necessarily feel like you're the feminine energy. I feel like that's the outside energy, but I'm not positive. Okay, because um, these are all gentlemen. Well, they look like males figures to me, you know. Um, <clears throat> so the the masculine might have difficulty speaking up right now. Tell me about this Empress energy. To me, this is a, a lesson that you had to go through. I don't really feel like toxic like that. All right. So, yeah, see, she's happy with the Ten of Cups. Or she makes you happy. Somebody definitely wants forgiveness here. Whatever this is. Family member, child. To me, it's it's low lack of confidence right now. Well, does this person love me? Do I have enough to give? I, it really is that type of energy. And it, like I said, it's based on this one. That That's good. She's good. So it's this. I don't know if she has a family or not. Regardless, doesn't matter. Um, let's find out what's stopping your path. Hit the dance floor. Go out and dance. What I need. Uh, this healing, this, this guilt. Somebody feels really guilty right now with with their past behavior. Um, remember, we have every aspect in our chart ladies and gents so it looks like you guys might be dealing with a Taurus um, it, it's going in order so I really feel like they want you to watch in order okay it, it, it's going to help bring in the new year so let's what um, what's stopping the, the two of wands what's stopping the path all right understanding uh, I don't somebody's something spiritual is happening here okay but it's up to you whether or not you want to create this but what this is telling me is that this is one of those things where you're like is this person going to understand is this person going to it's that second chance it's funny with the source because leo in the same exact position was being guided okay so find out where your chart where you are in your chart you know um 
Leo, I mean, you're ruled by Mercury. Find out where your Mercury is, you know, that type of thing. Um, find out where your Midhaven is, that type of stuff. All right. So let's find out um, this capability of love. Okay. This, I, I think this is my Virgos feeling not capable. Okay. So let's find out what this is all about. All right. So it takes courage to open up and heal areas of deep vulnerability. Each human individual is created with profound longing to feel loved. Out of this need of love is, is fantasizing qualities while masking weaknesses and fears. You are not committed to looking into your root itch issues, which make you feel disconnected with your true self. See, that's what I'm saying because you're having a hard time figuring this out. Take a moment and look how you're handling yourself. Are you being honest? Are you withdrawing? Do you not want to face a situation? Are you masking a problem such as shopping, drinking, eating excessively? Are you holding grudges? With an open heart, you can find the actions to tend to match your words. You are really, really offended. You are emotionally available. When your heart is open, it's it's truly taking responsibility in, in what it is you stand up for. Love yourself more completely than anything. Conflicts can be resolved easier this way. It's about harmony, especially with others. Ganesha's trunk represents the ability to consider how you're perceiving a situation what type of significant or spiritual growth that's involved here. An elephant's trunk is an important message for you for day, for day functioning. It serves to remove trees and other large obstacles. Anything, a task, something breaking through, breaking, you know, even eating your fruits. An elephant is, an elephant has the capability to handle a range of tasks. Requiring great strength. In one way, Ganesha's trunk is his great intelligence extraordinary capacity of love rely on your very own your vast abilities and tackle your problems ganesha will support you in this progress if you ask okay so that makes that makes a lot of sense okay um this there is something very spiritual here but what you know it's i'm spiritual it's a spiritual channel it's it's getting on your path, going after love, expressing how you feel about this person, not holding back, because you're holding back. You don't feel good enough. You need more love for yourself. So if you're in a relationship, please work on yourself. If you're going towards somebody, you need to deliver that message before it gets sabotaged, because it's you could sabotage this situation, because you're you're overthinking, you're overanalyzing. Okay, don't psychoanalyze things here, please. Apparently, this brings you your happy. That, that's a bond, a strong bond. And that's that leap of faith that the source wants you to take. I'm trying to correlate it with Leo, okay, because I really want you to watch every Zodiac. I know it's a lot of work, but it, it's you want the overall picture here, ladies and gents. When they have me break down Zodiac by Zodiac by Zodiac, there is a reason. Okay, so work on you for sure. But this is also saying, you know, you have that capability. Stop, stop doubting yourself. You're a very lovable person. Okay, you need, you need calming energy right now. You know, the the underground's taken over a little bit, the, the icky thoughts, all right? So let's do, before we do this, let me pull the lessons. So your lessons that you tackled in 2018, the lessons that were tackled in 2018, I, I, I just, I don't want you still sitting with these. These are ones that should already be accomplished. Things that you went through. Things that you should have overcome, hopefully. Lessons from my Virgos in 2018. What were their lessons? Okay. Relationships. You were hanging out with people that were no good for you. All right. You weren't accepting change. You weren't understanding that things can't grow and evolve without change because that tells me you were comfortably stagnant in a, in a situation. 
all right, um, definitely hanging out with people you should have not have been hanging out with, and they've been trying to get you on your path, okay, for a long time now, whether you recognize it or not, I'm hoping you did, okay, so let's find out your lesson for January 2019, Virgo's lessons for January 2019. worry stop worrying about this you can't change the outcome here but I mean to me if it, it looks like this person makes you happy stop stalling you want to know if this person's gonna understand speak up before it gets sabotaged yeah it's a, it's a tremendous bond okay but people don't wait around forever especially if there's been a lot of growth stop looking back lots of regret here Choose to focus on the lighter side of things. There's that greenish yellow again. Okay. There is a definitely bigger purpose here. All right. So, best advice for my Virgos. Overall, best advice for this situation ship. I mean, definitely go towards it. Face it. This is love. If something completely ended, it is time for you. If you're in a relationship, it's time to speak up and figure it out, in or out, you know. If you got to go towards somebody, go towards somebody. All right. So you have a complex decision here that needs to do some research. But at the same time, this is saying stop procrastinating. Stop going over things. Stop psychoanalyzing stuff. I, I said that. I mentioned that earlier. Okay. The bottom of the deck is at nine of wands. Don't, they're saying don't you dare give up. Protect something that you've created, and the creator's right here. So apparently, you've manifested this this love, this situation ship. Okay, so believe in it. Stand up for yourself. Don't give up on it. Stop procrastinating. Don't give up. Protect what it is you've created. It's clear as day you've created it. You haven't stepped towards it though. You haven't stepped towards this this happy. It seems to be a person. I, I feel like you don't feel like you're capable of it, but you are. It, you're letting certain things get the best of you. Yeah, it's a difficult situation, but it's a very harmonious situation. That's why I was like thrown, you know, because you got to get on your path to find that stability. This has already been created. Okay. You don't have anything difficult on your board. Not like that. Not like you think. It's, it's all, well, yeah, kind of like you think because it's mental, but I'm telling you, it's not. It's, it's don't give up. You're doing it to yourself. It's, you're procrastinating. You're overanalyzing. I feel like you guys are psychoanalyzing this situation. Please stop, okay? So let's see what last year was. Your very first raw loves for my Virgos. Let's see. Virgos. Competing. Competing for a cycle, competing and in, in stepping into to something new. So it's like it was trying to solve something. Um, it was 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It was a 4. So for a solid year now, you've been seeking stability with a certain situation. So if you're in it, whatever situation you're in, stop. Because 11 months ago, you were seeking the stability. In order for you to have it, you have to get on your path. Stop procrastinating moving forward. You're only doing it to yourself. Big, big message. All right. I love you guys. I love you. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. I love you. Bye.